is negative. So we have a graph. I'm just going to kind of draw it here. That 0, negative 3, 1, 0, and then 2, negative 2. So what do you think the multiplicity of that 0 is? Yeah, it looks like, yeah, it's going to be a tangent. And we can tell that simply because it's changing signs twice. It goes from, well, kind of changing signs. It's going from negative to zero, and then from zero back to negative. So it's once it hits zero, it goes back down in the other direction again. So that tells us it has a multiplicity of two. Here it is, the y values. Oh, no, 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 no. X equals one must have a multiplicity of 2 because the y values do not change signs on either side of x equals 1. So basically, just like we said, it's coming down from below, it's hitting that zero, and then it's going back down. Okay, now we're looking for the negative root. There's only one of those. So the negative root of f of x is located between where? So negative means I'm going to look over at the negative x-coordinates. It has to be between what two numbers? That What two x-coordinates? Negative 2 and negative 1. Yeah, why? How do you know that, Tyler? Because the sign of f of x changes. Yeah, that's a guarantee. Remember, if the sign changes, for sure there has to be a 0 there. So the negative root is between x equals negative 4 and x equals negative 1 because f of negative 4 is negative and f of negative 1 is positive. Then number three, between which two values in the table is the second distinct positive root located? Hmm. Not Tyler, just Tyler. So look at the positive x's, and between which two x's must there be a zero? Yes, why? Because it changes signs. Because it changes signs. So it had to cross the x-axis. So, between, to the right side, the positive root, is between x equals 3 and x equals 5 because f of 5 is positive and f of 3 is negative. And now we're set up for the next homework. Homework 21. My advice to you. 
What have you to do? Homework 21. Today, tomorrow, the next day. So that Monday, if you have questions, you can ask before your quiz on Tuesday. Because your homework quiz will cover all the homeworks from 18 through 21. Okay. And we have just a few minutes left, but you're welcome to work on it now.